but they can play Kansas City in Boston. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we have minutes for the 12-20-21. Can we didn't see anything, so I'll make the motion we approve the minutes of December 20th of 21. And I'll second that. Payroll to approve in the amount of $180,267.05. Um, no, it was pretty normal. Okay. I think we should approve payroll in the amount of $180,267.05. I'll second that. Receipt of the payroll claims accounts payable report in the amount of $51,389.26. Acknowledge receipt of payroll claims accounts payable $51,389.26. I second that. Motion passed. Now we have claims in the amount of $477,031.37. So I make a motion to approve claims in the amount of 477 No second to that motion is carried. Yes, I'm going to lose. Yeah, all right. So whatever she's got it ready. And then that one, we had a commission meeting on December the 6th, and we've got, and you guys approved it, and we've got this. Yeah, we should have one here. Okay, new business, 2021 wage compensation. This is required to be put on Facebook on the way and uh, advertising the paper. Yes, uh, I will be doing that this week to be putting this in the paper. Okay. I haven't got it advertised yet, but I okay. wanted to present it to you guys before I advertise it. Yep. This is all the wages that <clears throat> this is all the wages that the county has paid out for the year of 2021. I don't think we have to do anything. No, that's by law. You have to do all that. So I think we need to make a motion. All right. That's all in the new business. Do you have any new business, Bruce? I do not. How about old business? I need a signature from you on the sales disclosure form. Um, since Jim's not here, just wanted to hear you. Probably Dan. 
that's for the redevelopment tax sale properties that okay it, it, you just have to sign in one spot fire number one or nah hold on it's up here right, right there signature seller and this is on the um i think which property it is market street property yeah Yeah, this allows us to complete those yep. set of transactions. So the last one we have to do. And I guess I should back up a little bit to new business uh, question for you, Nick. Uh, yeah. uh, Thompson's out there. They had had that piece of property I remember a few years ago, and I think they had sent some pieces off the bridge and washed out years ago. There's still one over house back there, possibly even an RMC line, but it's and they want us to build a new bridge. I don't even think that road is even on the... It's not on our... Uh, inventory. Yeah. When it came to Chris, I wanted him to name it. Does that make us liable if we get that road in name? Should it be something put up with it? It's nothing urgent right now, but it's something we probably should check into. I mean, yeah. Um, I think um, they was wanting to develop it, but even you get out out the lake, you got Paradise Bay, it's a private road, uh, I don't know. I don't think if we name it, it puts us a liability, but let me look at it and I we'll can answer it the next meeting. Until the next meeting so. um, I'd rather have a chance to research it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that in Raccoon Township? No, Jackson. Jackson Township? Yeah. Is that Rocky Fork, is that what you said? Yeah, it's out there off of, uh, I don't remember, maybe 720, I'm not sure. 720 or 1,000. Okay. Yeah. If, I if it needs that. to be uh, named due for, for emergency purposes, that, that's, so we, we have ambulance the, service or whatever, we don't have problem to right. pay with that. But yeah. if it implies that when we name the road, it implies that we have accepted that road as in our inventory, and we'd be responsible for possibly that. That's the bridge. distinction. If we, we put on an inventory, we then we are. But right. if, if we're just making it for 911 purposes, right. it shouldn't. But let me look yeah, at it. We'll just at it from the next day. And I think, uh, I, I can't I think imagine Chris said it. if he gives the number, it would be like 850 if they. Yeah, Jim We'll get rid of these then. Yeah. We'll have to okay. watch <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's my off the cuff thought, but I, I would like to look at it real quick. Okay. Do you have any other business, Nick? Uh, no, I just had the sales disclosures. Any other Bruce? All right, Justin, you're the man. Currently 55 inmates in jail, uh, 45 rows, a 10 or DOC, uh, zero other county holds, one with COVID currently. Um, we ended the year for 2021 for DOC housing at 145,669. And this year, which we're running off December's billing that we would receive this month. It's thirteen thousand and thirteen dollars for the month to start this year out with. Um, a couple numbers for year end stats. There was seventy one thousand ninety one meals served in twenty twenty one in the jail. Uh, Seven hundred thirty three new inmates were booked into the jail. Uh, Currently, we have two deputy openings and one dispatch opening and a maintenance opening. We still have one deputy out on medical. We did interviews today for one of the deputy positions, so we've got a couple more days of interviews on it. Um, and there's two police cars that should have been delivered, I think, in September and October. We're still waiting on chips on them still, so I don't know when we'll get them, but the the two cars that they're going to replace are still in pretty decent condition. We've got high miles, but they're still mechanical free for the most part. So, and then in the back of the packet I give you, 
is the uh, compensation agreement for this year for me, but we can wait till the next meeting when... It's not a big issue. I mean, we can Jim's not going to the next time either. Oh, he's not? No, okay. Okay. It's yeah, just got it. It's got like, a place for the president. We, we don't to want you to miss a payment. Yeah, yeah. Miss, miss being paid, it's not a problem. You have an original lawyer or his lawyer? I've got the. No, yeah, I've got the original. We can go ahead. And, uh, Is that your same form of lease use? It yeah. The Sorry. the rate's still the same eighty five thousand yeah. a year. Nothing's changed. It's the exact same one. We just changed the years on. Yeah, we're good. There's no reason we have to Do we need a motion for that? Yeah. I'll, I'll present at the council meeting to you for right. this month. And again, I think I say this every year, but just a clarification for those watching and for Jessica. Uh, the sheriff can be paid in numerous different ways by statute. Uh, Justin has chosen the, what's called a contract. And so what we're doing is basically signing the contract with Justin for his compensation for the year 2022. So I make a motion that we approve the compensation agreement contract uh, with the uh, with Sheriff Cole. And I'll second that in motion. Thank you. That's all that I had. Our Sheriff, our deputies fairly easy. Nothing's board. easy to fill anymore, but our deputies fairly easy to find somebody with any qualifications? Or? Not in this climate. Or what I figure, so. Probably had a one of the smaller amounts apply, and yeah, I'm not, none of them had the academy. Yeah, I just say, oh, which is, most of them will have to go through the academy. If you yeah, know, which is yeah. unusual. We usually have a couple people who may have had the academy before on some other department wanting to. Very busy New over. Year's Eve. Yeah, it, it was pretty eventful, so. I can keep it or you can keep it, whichever one. I just I need to present I, I it to the council. Take it to the council. Okay, that's fine. I'll just put it in the council folder. Okay, that's it. Thank All you. All right, thank, thank you, you Justin. Have a good evening. And actually, if we'll get Randy's not here for he's here. He's is he here for get too carried away? These fellows in the back. I think that's uh, something in your mind. Uh, they want to talk to broadband MOU. I think right. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, Josh is. Which is joint, I think, right, yeah, Josh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you come on up. And, no, we'll, okay. you go ahead now. Okay. We'll give Randy a minute because he's okay. got some paperwork there. And okay. You Sorry. bring that up here and set it so you don't have to hold it. Okay. 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 Thanks for working me in. I, I was catching up on Cindy's email, um, well, my email in general today. And noticed the meeting tonight, and so I wanted to be sure and uh, take advantage of this meeting opportunity since we only have one more before the application is due. Yep. Um, I have brought with me the, the same financial summary that we had before and the same map that we had before. I'll go ahead and pass those to you just so you have them for reference while we're talking. But the, the big thing I'd like to talk through, if I understand the process, is that the council has appropriated money at this point in time um, but they've asked us, and this is a bit new for us in, in the other counties, we've just been provided a joint resolution signed by the county council and county commissioners that um, basically memorializes the funding that's available. But uh, in this case, my understanding is that the next step was for me to meet with the commissioners and ratify a memorandum of understanding. Um, and Cindy's provided me with that form. So, assuming I understand the process uh, correctly, I brought with me uh, my attempt at, at editing the kind of the draft or the form of MOU uh, to make it uh, joint specific. Um, and I hope that we might be able to talk through this together and see if I'm on the right track or not. Does that work? So, uh, we just. Uh, in the third paragraph, we just 
specifically made reference to JOINC and that this is for broadband connectivity. Uh, in order to make reference back to the next level connectivity grant application, I just defined the term next level connectivity as NLC. Um, I added another recital just indicating that uh, we had submitted a letter of intent uh, which was required underneath the grant just so that you know we're eligible to respond to it. Um, and then there's quite a bit of specifics later on the number of addresses and, and just to avoid confusion and, and the risk of some duplication, I redlined out um, some of the eligible addresses and or eligible addresses passing. Uh, so, so just to avoid a risk of confusion there, I, I suggested that we remove that language and then um, specifically make reference to joint since, since we're a party of the agreement. Um, and then I thought it was really nice the way the past addresses language was written in item three. And so I tried to just bring that past addresses language back up into one. Uh, so the Park County Board of Commissioners agree to provide local match funding for broadband providers based upon the eligible addresses which have been awarded uh, to broadband provider as, as well as past addresses. So I was just trying to bring that same past addresses concept and terminology up into one. And then in six, uh, since I defined joint as a provider previously, I just capitalized the, the P for provider. Um, and then in B, um, what, what we have, have said all along um, and what we have committed to with the other counties, um, and so for consistency's sake, I need to stick with what, what I've always said, and that is that, um, and I've got it on the map, so those 53 eligible addresses, those will be a free installation. Um, the, the 0 to 100 feet addresses, those 308, will be a $250 installation fee, but, but we need to charge per foot past the first 100 addresses for those remaining 412. And I recognize that not all providers may need to do that. Uh, for example, if they're using an existing phone wire or phone line that's already going to those homes, uh, they may be able to reuse that at lower speeds. Uh, but when we're building uh, fiber all the way to the home, um, in our analysis, uh, this, this provision um, would actually, uh, it's a non-starter for joint. The, the cost for us to extend to all of those homes at a $250 fee is actually greater than the amount of support we're requesting from you. Um, so it, just to use some nice big round numbers, that, that's basically asking joint uh, to commit to provide $2 million worth of installations for $1 million in support. It just, it doesn't work. So, and, and it's not what we've done in the other counties either. And so for consistency's sake, um, I, I redlined that back to what I've said in all of my prior presentations and in public meetings and public comments that, uh, so to point A, any eligible address will be a free installation. Um, and then in, in point 6B, the first 100 feet will only be a $250 install fee, but after the first 100 feet, so for those remaining 412 addresses, we'll need to charge those customers based on their distance um, of, of network that has to be constructed. Over and above the yes. I understand. Not any different than what a homeowner has to do to extend gas or water or some other utility on their private property. Um, and then, just because we're um, we're new to this MOU concept, and um, there's there's a lot of language in the document, just for the avoidance of doubt, as long as Joink's application is as shown on the map, 53 eligible addresses, 720 addresses passed, uh, the, the match of support that would be provided by the county would be $936,000. So I just wanted to, to have that in there so that there's no confusion about how this all tallies out down the road. I, I think still, though, if I understood the council was pretty adamant about it, uh, are they still that way, Cindy? I mean, if, if you can't make an agreement with the homeowner to pay the difference, I don't, I mean, I don't see getting paid for once they get passed if they're not going to be paid for by the homeowner. I'm not following. I'm sorry. Um, 
per eligible address, uh -huh. it's a maximum of thirteen hundred dollars. Correct. Uh, no, no, no. For per eligible address, it needs to be like nine hundred and thirty-six thousand divided by fifty-three, whatever that would be. Um, I mean, that, that's the only way we're going to pass those addresses is if is if they we're connect. able to get the state to fund these fifty-three the, addresses. The fifty-three, yes, right. I understand that. Right. Yeah. So, so the way we really need to think about it just as eligible addresses, and when we think about it as eligible addresses. It's nine hundred thirty-six thousand divided by fifty-three, or seventeen thousand uh, dollars, in eligible address. Once we've built to those eligible addresses, we'll then be passing these ineligible locations. Yes. And to the extent that those folks want to sign up, we're thrilled to do it. But we'll never pass them if we don't get to the eligible addresses. I, I fully understand that part. Yeah. Uh, but they seem to be. I know the council pretty adamant about. The distance and the charge for the distance is that the way you gathered it, Cindy? Or yeah, if you got something, say you can yeah. come on up here. I need to get to the last meeting. So I thought the council said we're getting we're going to pay so much per property. Period. My understanding is that's how they calculated the that's amount how they calculated of support that they appropriated, provided. right? Yeah. Yeah. So so I think I think they appropriated a million five or yeah. up to. That's right. And using that formula of eligible and past, we're requesting support for 936000 So we're using that, that formula to compute this amount. Uh, but all the state cares about is eligible homes. And so we've got to go to the state with our, uh, our 337000 and your 936000 in order to get funding for 53, the, the ineligible homes aren't any part of their analysis. Yeah, that on the grant side of things, sure. and I think just again locally, how we calculated was using a per household, rather yes. it be eligible yeah. or past, sure. as a calculation for sure. us. And the adamant part from the ARP committee, as well as uh, the council, was they were not um, comfortable passing on that additional charge to some taxpayers and not others because they don't care if they were eligible or not in the grant um, and felt that they didn't really have a good story behind that to pass on additional expense to some and not others. And that's, that's the reasoning for asking in the MOU to have no additional charge after the $250. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's a non-starter. We won't make the application with that requirement. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, no, I you're, you're asking you're asking joint to take north of two million dollars of exposure for one million dollars of support. I can't do it. I, I didn't understand that piece. Yeah, of it. yeah. I, I can see how some other providers, uh, for example, a provider that can reuse the existing copper cable that's in the ground, uh, those economics might work for them. Uh, we want this to be a smashing success, and so if all of those homes sign up in the first six months, I'll be upside down on the project. I just can't do it. Yeah, yeah understandable, yeah. And, and I know that's a policy that conflicts, but that was um, basically direction from the ARP committee. That's not the way I understood it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. would, I would just, um, I've only had about 30 seconds to, to think about that, but um, the, the way I would look at it is we have an opportunity to get 361 homes served, 53 for a zero dollar install fee and 308 for 250. Uh, based on my analysis, the average install cost for the remaining 412 homes is, um, I'm doing this out of, off the top of my head, but between a thousand and two thousand dollars a home, so it's not an insurmountable fee uh, to get to get um, six million dollars of net investment into the county uh, on a product that has a useful life of 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Okay. When's the next council meeting? Tuesday, is it this week? Thursday? Next Thursday. Thursday. A week from Thursday. Okay. Not this Thursday, next Thursday. When's your application deadline again? It's, it's due the 20th. Uh, we're, that's one of the reasons I just came right up here this afternoon as I've worked on this this afternoon is uh, we need to get all of our 
we need to finalize the details of the application to get the professional engineer stamp. So I'd hate to push this much past that meeting that's the night of the 17th. So I didn't want to wait and show yes. up the night of the 17th. I wanted to come and to and you today. I'm glad you came, but I'm just going back through everything I heard from the council and from what the sure. city's told me, and that's why I want to get to the sure. bottom of it before. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I didn't, it's, it's not just our decision. So. Oh, yeah, and, I, yeah. and I didn't understand um, the, the mechanics here, but um, that, that's from day one, I, I've explained how the math works. Uh, we've got a, I can't come up here and enter a different transaction than I've entered with the other counties. Um, and, and so if for no other reason than the precedent with the other counties, um, I mean, I literally have a joint resolution that has the dollar amount of support. And so I tried to edit the MOU to be consistent with what will be in our application, what we've said in the meetings up until this date. Um, I, I can't, can't agree to that provision as, as stated. Yeah, and that would really be the ARP committee would need to reconvene yes. and have that discussion, yes. uh, you know, yes. just to confirm or, or willingness to reconsider and then bring it back. Because the commissioners technically is, is the body that would sign that MOU. Yes. Yep. So it, it does become your decision based on those recommendations. Yes, it does, but yeah, there, there was we're, not, we're dealing with the council. And, yeah. Yes, yeah. we've got you know, one of the one of the reasons I didn't put all that together is entirely is that um, I read the council resolution in its entirety and it it was uh, very straightforward in appropriating the funds and um, I'm, I'm sorry for the confusion but I read th this email's next step is meet with the commissioners mm -hmm. and that's you know that's that's the backstory. So. And I I have no problem if you guys have a different recommendation but I don't want to do something else. Yeah, one, of the, one of the challenges with that formula is that if another provider, for example, is going to use the copper DSL infrastructure that they already have, and let's say their project costs uh, $1,100,000, you're providing them $1,004,000 of support. It's going to cost them $96,000. Yes. So th there's some real challenges, I think, now that I understand uh, what you're doing and how you're applying it. Um, in, in taking this approach in that uh, it's it, it's heavily incentivized to whatever the lowest capex solution is uh, which may be very short-sighted yeah I, I would just say the last comment there and thinking about you know the way that calculation was done was hoping that while you may have some that may not sign up or sure. you may have hopefully fewer at that longer distance that sure. what you're not using on one could kind of make up for where other things other yes. than the 1300 doesn't really get you much past the 100 feet. Uh, well, the, the, but the challenge is that um, uh, if we look at how that's kind of how that's bifurcator how that's allocated between the two buckets three three hundred eight are within a hundred feet uh, and and four hundred and twelve are over a hundred feet and so I would say the average distance and I have the data set in the car but I could go get it but I think the average distance between zero and a hundred just as nice round numbers is like sixty to ninety feet right it's all on the high end uh, and so there's the sum of the leftover doesn't, <laughs> doesn't move the needle on the 101 to 300 yeah. times 412 versus being multiplied by, by 308. I learned early in my career the challenge with um, taking small numbers and multiplying them by big numbers, uh, and that's why I'm so sensitive to, to making sure that this cash flows. Unfortunately, it, at my level, when, when I do make mistakes, they're typically not small numbers. <laughs> I, would say, I mean, we could, we could try to convene the ARP committee as quickly as possible and yeah, get a yeah. final answer. And I'd be happy to, to get a final answer. Sure. I, I have, have a copy of this. So. The, I drafted it. The, um, not in Josh's markups, no, I yeah. don't have that. But yeah, I, I'll, 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 you should find it. I've got things I was going to say. I think what we'll it boils down to, to get is the committee as quick as we can. We'll probably, Jim won't be here, but he, he could be 
yeah. do this on a Zoom. He'll do, yeah, he'll do Zoom. But Roy did a lot of the work on this. Yes, he did. And yep. I, I, if you could get the copy of that to Roy. Yep. I can maybe, maybe he would uh, be willing to, to, to you know. Yeah, and as like Cindy said, ultimately it's the commissioner's decision, but we're probably going to go with our recommendation. Sure, so. sure. I, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't want us to miss this chance uh, as I was catching up on things this Understood. afternoon to talk. So, uh, and I appreciate your help. We, like, we, at least what I've said. You know, we don't want to miss this chance either. No, this is we an don't. opportunity to use our federal money for benefit to the county, and, and we all feel very strongly. I think that broadband is important to our, our community, and we want to, but. This committee also said this is what we're going to do, and this is kind of the guidelines. And for us as commissioners, sure. to all of a sudden just say, well, lack, lack of a better term, the hell with the ARP recommendation, we're going to go with something. Oh, that, that's, that's, you know, we, we just, I don't think we feel comfortable that, that's not at my this point in time. That's not my style yeah, either. I, know, I, know, I just, I just, just didn't want to show up on the 17th with no time to spare. <laughs> yeah. well, and I'm glad you came yeah, today. Maybe right. we can get this we hashed out. Get this sure. hashed out over the sure. next week. Maybe so. reach a happy medium. Yes. The, the, way, the way I would encourage you to look at this is um, you're, you're almost getting uh, seven to one money. Uh, yeah. You know, on what it's, you're on what you're at. So, with, with the money that we have to work with, though, we're trying to get as many people sure to have access to oh, it as possible. With, yeah. Without to, because I think you're going to find out there's a lot of them that when you're talking fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, they're not going to be able to afford. It. Well, so a couple of thoughts. One is, um, I, I'm. Probably not willing to waver or negotiate in my position because of what we've done with the other counties. That that's the biggest challenge I've got is I can't go one, back to those one thing counties. You've got sure. to understand. Sure. Okay. When you're dealing with Putnam County. Sure. Or you're dealing with Clay County. Sure. Or you're dealing with Vigo County. Sure. We are not there. Okay. Our our financial our our economic base our our, our average income of the people who live in Park County sure. are not Putnam County, sure are not no. Clay County. You guys got all kinds of industries down there. You got high paying jobs, you got sure. good paying jobs. No, no, no. We don't have that here. I, I, and so for somebody to have, like Dan said, for somebody to have to pay $2,000, that may be yep. one tenth of their income. Sure, N nobody. Do you will think they're going to pay two thousand dollars to help on the whole thing? I'm doing a couple of things. One is I'm doing everything I can to drive those costs lower. Oh, so I, sure I've just are. started the I've just started a new crew that's getting really really good at, at vibratory plowing these drops in. I think I can bring that cost per foot down considerably. That is not a profit center for us. We're simply trying to recover costs. And, and we can come up to Park County and practice a lot. Uh, so, so we've invested a lot of money in Park County. We love coming up here. Uh, we're very committed to this community. Um, what I'm concerned about is um, entering a materially different agreement and then having to explain to the other counties why I did that. So that cost per foot, I will bring that down for everyone as aggressively as I can on those drops in the future. I know, I know you will. I know. As sure. I said, we want this as bad as you. Do. Sure. It's we're, just that <coughs> we're we'll just start to compare apples and apples. Like you know, we yep. get three. We got three million dollars. Sure. Okay. I don't know what Clay County got. Okay. But let's just say they got ten million dollars. I mean, that's a big difference in, in what they can do and what we can do. Um, and. Uh, and so it's just, it, you know, it, it's a number crunching thing sure. that we have to, to be careful. And the committee, you know, was just looking at from the standpoint of, of uh, trying to maximize what we can. Sure. Without using all of it, obviously, as far as ARP money. But then, as Cindy said, they, the committee just felt like it was important to be fair to everybody as far as the hookup. And, and, uh, I don't want you to feel singled out because it's it's not just internet service. It's Park County. We oh. got seven hundred thirty mile of road. Yeah. Randy has about six million dollars to work with no, to no, take no. care of that amount of road. 
look at Hamilton County, almost the same amount of road, and they had $26 million to yeah. deal with. So it, we're dealing with the same footage sure. with less money to do it with. And that's, that's kind of why it was, I'm, I'm afraid what's going to happen, these 720 that get passed, less than half of them is going to have the money to go ahead and hook up to get passed is what concerns me. And that's kind of why it was structured that way. Sure. And, and so so I'm, I'm, as I sit here and look at my own drafting that I did, Hurriedly this afternoon, uh, you know, I'm happy in 6B plus a per foot charge not to exceed $15. I mean, I, we're we're willing to work as hard as we can to break even on getting those people connected. We're not trying to make money on getting them connected. I understand. But back of the envelope, if I take that many feet times that many homes, it's well north of a million dollars. And I understand cost. where your, yeah. your position too. So sure. let's let Cindy sure. see. If what she can come up with, and maybe you can come to the next meeting, and maybe we can reach an agreement. I appreciate all the help, and I didn't didn't mean to be comparative in any regard. No, it's, I, uh, I, just, no, I, I think it's because it's like Bruce said, you know, we're a small county, sure. we're in the industry, I, and uh, just we to, stretch our dollars as far as we can. Just remember, I'm the tiny little service provider competing against the uh, yeah, no, we <laughs> of the world. I get we small understand. versus big, and, and I've been on the other side of the table in different yes. forums, and I'm always rooting for the underdog, underdog, and I'll do anything I can to help you up here. All right. Okay, thank you. Our next meeting is... Um, on the Tuesday, the 18th. Yes, because of the commissioner meeting. Yes, Mark it is the 18th. Yeah. Sorry, after Martin Luther King Day. Okay, yeah, great. so it will be two weeks from tomorrow. No, on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah two weeks from, two tomorrow. Weeks from tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. <laughs> 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 Again, like these. So that's 18. And, yes. and 4 p.m. again on the 18th. Yes, yes 4 yes. p.m. Okay. But I will let you know, John. Yeah, Cindy will keep in touch together. with you again. Okay, sounds good. And I can. Thank Sorry, you. Greg. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Randy. I think we're ready. How are we doing this evening? Doing pretty good. Good. How about yourself? Good. Good. Not pretty. Haven't had, had enough snow to worry about getting the plows out. No. So, so far, you're doing pretty not good. It's New Year's, so yeah. Could be out the gym, plowing a foot of snow, right? No, that's fine. Well, you want to open the truck bids first thing? Yeah, I'm right here. Uh, we have two bids um, Palmer Trucks, and they had everything that was required, and then the other one's Volvo. No, Volmac. Volmac, Volmac. yeah. Yeah, so they both had everything that's required of them. Okay. One was, a little, one was about five grand cheaper than the other. Yeah, did you read the but what were we prices? Reading? One was 171 as a total, and one was 166 as a total. Okay. Which one was 166? That was the 166. One was yeah. one, 166, one of them was 171. There's your total. Okay. And then that, that was 171. Okay. Looks like the delivery date will be 1-3 of 2022. That's not quite right, is it? What's that? 1-3 of 2022. Oh, no, full thing I see now. Yeah. Fourth quarter of 22 or first quarter of 23. So that could be up to what, March of 23? That's correct, yes. So we could be looking at how long? March so March of 23? Of 23? Uh-huh. 15 months out. 15 yeah. months out. And yeah, I'm sure this one's about that way, too, on Kenworth. I not see on there, but he was up the other evening and talked to me. Said it was going to be up in 23 before we got it. These tandems? Yes, yeah, tandems. I don't see one like that. Is that complete? Yeah, complete. Box. Complete. Sand small hydraulics. And everything. Yeah, plow, sander, the whole bit. Well, I'll read over. 
Yep, you look over. I'm gonna let you know. Yep, get back sure. with us. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know for our next meeting. That's fine. Mm. Recommendation of the bids. Accepted asphalt materials, or I recommend it, except asphalt materials, and got another bidder on uh, oils this year too from Bitmap Products. Went, it, went ahead and accepted it also. Sounds good. Uh, pump Tire Service is our only bid on that, so I accepted that. Heritage Oil. Uh, Got it over series solution, they just claim a little bit cheaper. Oil and grease, uh, Heritage Oil got that over series solution. Soda and gravel, I accepted all of them, always do. Yep. In case somebody's out of it, we can just go somewhere else and get it. That makes sense. I accepted the E3 bridge. And silicon on the culvert and bridge materials, um, and also E and H bridge and Park County aggregates. Yeah. One thing we get in Park County aggregates on that is the plastic pipe. It's yeah. a handy just go down there and get it. Yeah. Um, metal culverts didn't accept them. They wouldn't keep the price last year, so we had to buy the others. And uh, St. Regis, they won, won a uh, escalator close. They want to raise the prices up and down all the time. Uh, repair parts, uh, PHK got that. That should be all of it. The, uh, oh shoot, oil and grease. Uh, mm -hmm. Heritage, is that where we got it last year? No, we had the Yoder. He didn't bid him. He didn't bid mm -hmm. He was from Evansville or uh, North somewhere. North. I think it was North. I thought he was with yeah. Yoder. is kind of an Amish type of yeah. <laughs> name. So, up north of me. Uh, looks good to me. There's a I don't question Randy, mm -hmm. but I just out of my own uh, curiosity because you know Obviously, we'd like to keep business as local as we mm -hmm. can, if we can help local businesses, but um, on series, were they quite a bit uh, uh, higher than Heritage yeah. for both the oil and for the... Yeah, they were. Okay. Um, I mean, if it was like a penny or two... Oh, no, that was... Well, <laughs> then maybe yeah. we could find a little bit to help local aid, uh, companies around here, but... Uh, 280 versus 296 on the unleaded gas. Of course, now this has an extra. Sure, they all do because of that. Yeah. Uh, diesel 238 versus 268. Um, the on-road was 315 versus um, 322. Um, the death 210 versus 218. So. The material about the money over the yeah. course of a year. Uh -huh. You say, well, eight or ten, fifteen cents doesn't sound like much, but when you talk about yeah. how many gallons mm -hmm. you go through for a year, that yeah. starts to add up pretty quickly. Yeah, it does. And the series on the chassis lube, 
per tube is 475 a tube. The Heritage is three dollars. Uh, their gear oil was the same. Um, the series a little bit cheaper on the no, they a little higher on the motor oil, six inch higher on the motor oil. And the hydraulic oil series was twelve sixty four versus eight twenty nine. Wow. And, and we're we're fine with that. We don't yeah, have I, a problem with that. I was just curious. If we're yeah. splitting pennies, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's just like we talked about before. You know, we got so all the way money. from Evansville's a long way to go if if they're local and a penny yeah. and you know you can get it, it's not gonna bother us. But yeah. by the time you add all the amount of fuel up to use, it's that's yeah. what you reckon. And even, on the, oil, go. even <laughs> on the oil samples, we send yeah. them every time we change oil, we send a sample in. Yeah. Uh, series is going to charge nineteen dollars each. Where it don't cost us anything with heritage. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm just curious. I, uh -huh. yeah. I wasn't questioning you. I just in case I get stopped on the street by some of our cities, because mm -hmm. we got a lot of around here that Oh yeah. And then I can at least have Well some. and I like cities. I mean Yeah. I always like we've had their fuel for years. Yeah. Uh, had any problem with it. But in the end, we they haven't had any problems have with the heritage either. Yeah. We've done the fuel tanks. So. Competitive, and, and we just talked with you know yep. the joint. We got so much money. Yeah. Right. Right. The more you spend on this kind of stuff, the less you have to hurt somewhere else to to put on the road or yep. whatever. So. Yep. No problem at all with me. I just was curious, just mm -hmm. in case, yeah. like I said, if I get asked by somebody, yeah. how come you don't go local? Well, I always try to go local. Yeah. Don't you? Sometimes you're so sometimes you just you can't, you can't do it. Now you got your pins already. <laughs> yeah, as soon as. Uh... <laughs> you didn't sound too enthused about that. No, no, no I'm fine. <laughs> We're fine. I just let Dan look things over. Okay. And I, I just thought I want to make a motion. You go ahead and make a motion. I'm just amazed. Payload or tire, sixteen hundred and nine dollars per tire. Yeah. Mind boggling. Yeah. yeah. Well, I make a motion. We uh, accept the recommendation that Randy's given us for all of our products uh, that we buy uh, through the highway department. And I'll second that motion. Now we can start signing away. Okay. Where do you want to do this after your meeting? It don't make any difference. Just because you're just here to visit, aren't you? you yes, sir. Uh, do you have something to say? You go ahead and then we can finish signing sign all, all, all this. Sign all this so. I didn't come prepared to say anything, but uh, keep an eye out on the Park Sentinel. Uh, hopefully there will be an announcement uh, here maybe sometime soon about the latest developments. Okay. All right. With that, so okay. Jess can get on out of here. All we're going to do is sign the papers. Anyone else have We've any comments? We've already made the emotion. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion we adjourn and we'll sign these afterwards. I'll set it back. This is the power meeting. That way you guys can get along.